Today I'm going to show you how to build a BVAC. We've got a couple of people who have been asking us how we built our BVAC, the one we use in the other videos you see on our channel. And it's actually really, really simple to build. We've used this particular BVAC for over 50 removals so far. It's still going really, really strong. So let's break down all the components for you. To build a vac, you're going to need two supers, a brood box, and then in this component here, we've got a wire mesh. We'll break that down for you in a second. The other two items that we've got are these ratchet strap, and then the last piece that you need is you need a vacuum, and of course, pipes to attach. The top piece to the vac is actually just the standard super. What we have done on the inside is we've put two corner pieces of wood here. That just gives a little bit of a lead for this thin piece of ply to rest on. And then on the other side, we've rested the ply on where the frames would have originally stood on this super. And then we put the plywood on top of that. We stapled that in and then we've run a sealant around the top just to close off any gaps. Additionally to that, we've added the hole where the, the vacuum will actually attach to. And we have this hole here with a little flap and this regulates the vacuum strength while we're working. Obviously we don't want the vacuum to be too harsh, otherwise it's going to hurt the bees. And so what we do is we just open this more and then that makes the strength of the vacuum less and then if it's closed then the strength is a lot more. The last piece is we actually added just a, a piece of adhesive foam around the edge and this helps with sealing when we strap the box together. The second piece which is a bit more of a custom piece is this wire mesh. This mesh goes between the super and the brood box that we use and of course where the vacuum goes in, stop the bees from going into the vacuum while we're working. So all we did was we created a simple frame, put this foam again on just on the one side because we've got the foam on the other side of the super that I just showed you. And then we just stapled it together onto this frame. Obviously the holes in the mesh are small enough that the bees can't get through. And that's the only custom piece that you need to build. The third piece is a brood box. Nothing really custom about this brood box. All we've done is we've just run some sealant along the edges here to make sure if there were any gaps in the joints that it's gonna make it a little bit more airtight. Otherwise, this is just the standard brood box. Nothing unusual about that. The fourth piece and last piece of the box is just another super. So this super piece we've customized again, very similar to the top piece, where we've put the thin piece of ply onto where the frames would have stood. We've got the corner edging inside just to give it another extra uh, piece to sit on. Then we added the foam strips around the edge to make it airtight. We've sealed along the edges and also around the top, just adding sealant there. And then uh, we added this hole here. This is the hole now where we suck the bees in. What I would do a little bit differently to this one is I would make this pipe a little bit shorter. We find that the bees sometimes clump around this and then when we're doing the transfer, we do struggle to get in underneath here. This is just a normal PVC pipe from plumbing and we've got a PVC cap on it just to seal it when we're moving the bees. The last couple of pieces that you do need is you need some straps to strap the whole system together and make it airtight and then of course you need a vacuum. We're just using an old vacuum that we had lying around the house and then the pipes that you attach to the vac vacuum. So we're using the pipes that came with the vacuum, this one, which is the piece that goes into the vacuum and then into the box and then we're attaching this piece which was from the vacuum originally to that white PVC pipe and then if we need to extend it we're using pool cleaner pipes and then we just extend it for however long we need depending if we're working at height or in a difficult area. So it's pretty simple to put together. This is the super that we have the inlet where we suck the bees into. This one we're gonna join then the bottom of that brood box. Then we've got standard brood box in the middle and then we put the mesh, just making sure that the foam is going against the brood box because you can use any brood box without a fixed bottom of course in this piece here. And then the last piece is the closed off super at the top. So that's how it gets put together. So now what we do is we strap this together. So the box is correctly now put together we just make sure everything lines up nicely. And now we're gonna position the ratchet straps about a third of the way across the box from each side. These are old ratchet straps that we had lying around. They're actually really, really nice quality. What you want is straps that you can tighten quite firmly to make sure that the box is nice and airtight. What's nice about the ratchets is they're easy to release when you're at the apiary and you wanna do the transfer. Now we connect the vacuum. This pipe goes into the top and then we take the lid off the front and we connect the other pipe. Now we're ready to work. You can do different nozzles for the front of the pool cleaner pipe. Sometimes we just use it like this, but sometimes we'll put a narrower nozzle on when we need to get into hard to reach areas. The bees get sucked in here, they go down the pipe, in the inlet into the box, and they settle in this cavity here of the box, not going past the mesh which sits here 
and then through and into the vacuum. Once you're done, you take the pipe off and you put the cap on and then you can transport the bees in the box. We carry this box, we transport it in the car. Once we get to the apiary, we're able to release the ratchet straps, remove the mesh and then gently take the bees into the hive that's got their comb in. So that's it. Pretty simple to build. If you do happen to build one, please let us know in the comments below. And if you want some more handy tips, then please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.